Yo, good, good day, YouTube. So, I'm glad to bring us this update. Today is the fourth day of the second week on this prop firm challenge. I the first week was just three thousand dollars. The second week, I added another three thousand dollars, meaning that we have a total of uh, six thousand dollars at the moment that we are trading with so the prop firm challenge is now six thousand dollars in the second week and um, today is the fourth day of the second week uh thursday and uh, yesterday wednesday <coughs> sorry i beg your pardon i didn't take any trades yesterday i decided to take a break but today i came back to take another trade now and uh I just took a trade on USD JPY. Uh, but before I go further, let me just bring you my balances. This is the second 3K account I got. So at the moment, I am up 3,112 dollars uh, is what I have in profit, and then I have a sell position open. What I did today is, <clears throat> sorry before now i was only risking 30 dollars on the 3k account but this for this trade i took during asian session i decided to increase my risk on the this account which is which is the the second one that i am up in profit so i just did a position sizing and i decided to because now i have uh, equity to add profit to add to my initial balance of three hundred dollars which was what i was allowed to lose on this account so at the moment i have decided to risk forty dollars on each, each trade moving forward so today is the first time i'm doing that on this account and this is how we stand on this account so i'm going to hold this position till the end of the day of course like every other one on until i hit stop loss whichever happens first and also i'm going to show us the other account which is this one uh, great so this is the one that i got initially i got into serious drawdown uh, but this is how I stand in my balances. These are the trades I've taken so far. Have I have a, I had a, a losing streak of one, two, three, four, five trades in one day, which was basically because I went against my own trading rules. Also, I had two trades uh, coming up losses on the second after that day. And those two trades, if you notice, this is Euro USD, which is not also what I am supposed to trade going against my rules again. So I, I think the lesson here is when you make rules, you have to stick to the rules so that you don't miss out on any opportunity or getting to draw down on unnecessarily and then begin to chase losses. But this is how I stand on this account today so i'm still in drawdown but i'm two thousand nine hundred and forty eight dollars in balance and my equity floating but i'm going to continue to hold this position like i said earlier no no reason for me to to change anything or modify anything also i have not increased the risk on this account it's still thirty dollars however on the new account i got that i am offering profit i decided to add it uh, so that i'm risking forty dollars and that's how i stand so i'll see you guys on the next update all right hello youtube so i just want to bring us this quick update and we just got stopped out of this trade the one we took earlier we got stopped out let me just quickly go to that one so we lost about 40 dollars on that trade and so unfortunate but it happens so i'm going to accept the loss and i'm going to open another trade 
looking to open another trade on this account i'm looking to buy usdjp right now uh, but uh, at the moment i'm still looking for a good entry point the way i'm seeing prices behaving and around this area i may be taking a buy from somewhere here i think i'll be taking a buy from this point I think I'll be taking a buy from this point right there. Uh, I'll probably buy from there. That is, if I watch the market behave in a manner that tells me I'll be in profit if I do that. So I'm just going to watch the next few candles close and I'll take a trade. I'll give you an update as soon as I take a trade.